This, my dudes, is Theory of Everything 2. That level with that sick drop. And it's one of the best levels in Geometry Dash. However, what if I recreate it in 2.2? Geometry Dash's most hyped update ever. Well, today we're gonna figure out by using some swing copter gameplay, some rotating gameplay, some uh, bubbling lava, and much more. All right, let me just go ahead and spell. What the heck is going on? This is official moment of creating the new level called Theory of Everything 2 in 2.2. Let's go straight in and boom. The first thing I wanna do, the very first thing is choose theory of everything too bro this level is gonna be awesome i also have a lot of ideas of making you guys also be able to participate in making this video in making this level i mean so you guys can like vote in the comments what you guys want i'm gonna show you guys in a bit bro the drop is gonna be insane i have i have a very good idea for the drop with the arrow trigger and stuff like that so i guess let's just begin by making the template as always i like to begin with the template of course and let me just make a new one so now all i have to do is simply just decorate this real quick and you guys already know how this works i simply just clap like this boom would you look at that this is a beautiful looking template and you may say ah, it's a little bit too empty and i have a lot of suggestions in here and this is where you guys come into place and you guys can also like participate in this so let me just make this a platformer level real quick and the, the, okay the very first thing is there are these guys that i made and i don't know if i should add them or not but let, let's let's first look at this so you see this i added like an area trigger that basically adds these nice looking glow like when you get closer to there i think they look absolutely brilliant uh, this is the first thing and second of all uh, this is where you guys come into place so what we want to do is we want to grab all of these guys and put them in here and then boom this is how the template looks like so now what you want to do you want to go to the comment section you either type a one or a two if you type a one i'm gonna keep these nice little uh, pixels in here these guys and if you type a two i'm just gonna remove them okay so just go ahead in the comments and type that and then there's this this thing which is basically like spikes uh, down there but i don't think that they look cool uh, tell me in the comments if you want me to add them i'm not gonna do like a pool for this because i personally don't like it that much but if i see a lot of comments saying so i'm gonna add them so we have this it's perfect and i think i'm just gonna do the music cut real quick i want to make like this level is gonna be long it's gonna be like three minutes long or something and the difficulty is not gonna be that hard so you guys are gonna be able to beat it as well so let me just make the music cuts with the music trigger and see where we land okay so listen to this this is like the first cut that i added and you cannot even notice it this is the perfect thing i want this cut to be perfect so you don't even notice that the song is changing listen So that's like the drop, but in case you didn't know, Rock Top kind of cuts off a little bit of drop in the theory of everything too. So here's the continuation that I want to have in this level. The drop is awesome, bro. The drop in this level is humongous. Okay, and this is the second cut. Listen to this. You can't even notice it. This is perfect. This is exactly how I want it. And this is the next one. Listen. And that's it. In here is where the end of the level is. So this is the end. So it's going to be about like 2 minutes and 15 seconds about that. Maybe I'm going to play around with the speed changes and stuff like that. So it's going to be a little bit different. But I would say let's just pick a ground also. I want to pick on this one. And now let's just make this. Yeah, pink I think is cool. And for this one, probably like a dark one. Yeah, like that. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so I'm, I don't think I'm going to be making the gameplay yet. I think for now I'm just going to go ahead and make some like extra stuff. For example the saw blades that i'm gonna use like make all i want to make all of the templates and once i have them i want to start making stuff so that the level looks really good from the beginning on and yeah let's just i would say let's just start with the saw blade that's a pretty cool thing to start with all right so i came up with this design which i think looks kind of cool and also has like these spikes in it it looks like an atom basically i think this looks really nice however I, th I think it's a little bit too empty so i might add like a particle system on it and make it like a radius like that yeah i think this looks awesome look at this 
Oh my god, this looks really cool. This like circles getting sucked in. Also, I want to make this level like very circly. So all of the particles are going to be circles. And I have a lot of ideas for how to make the portals also have like these particles as circles. So for now, this looks really cool. And it's also going to like rotate. Oh my god, this is going to look so cool. Okay, really excited for that. However, come on, like we are officially in 2.2 right now. So I can't just not use some 2.2 animations on this. Maybe if I use something. Oh my god, this looks so good. Okay, I think this is the end saw blade. This is like the final version of the saw blade. I'm going to make like a bunch of smaller versions of it. Okay, now I'm just going to add this guy. And finally, want to add the particles. Also make them a little bit smaller. I don't know why I can't see the particles in here. Boom. So this is like the middle thingy, the middle version. And now I'm just going to go ahead and make a very small one. And for this one, I'm just going to use two. And I'm just going to yoink the, these spikes and yoink them like that. And you want to have this one, make it a lot smaller. All right. Boom. Look at this. Now we have three saw blades that I can use freely and all of them are like 54 objects so that's not a lot at all. Okay I just added a bunch of glows on it so that it looks a little bit better and I think this looks awesome already. Okay I actually want to try out if these blocks even work. Let's see. So we do create and boom nice. It works pretty fine. Yo this looks really cool. This looks so cool. Okay there is okay in here I just realized in here is a little bit broken. Okay if this works you have to slap that subscribe button. Let's check it out. Boom perfect. Oh my god, that took so long. Okay, I, I think I fixed it. I think I fixed it. Let's just let's just make a small test and assume that there are blocks here. Okay, let's just hope and pray and click on create. And wow, okay, that works pretty fine. Okay, now let's go a little bit more complicated and it's not gonna work. Or wait, it kind of does work. Hey, yo, I kind of fixed it. Okay, that's kind of heat. Okay, you can see there are a little bit of issues here and there, but it, can, it works. This is pretty cool. Okay, I didn't expect it to work that well but okay now what i want to do is uh, like you know how in every level there are these custom ground spikes where like between the blocks there are spikes i want i want to try and recreate that but i'm probably gonna be using like lava i want this to be like very active i'm not gonna make it like static it's probably gonna have also like a little bit of style from dash it's gonna steal the style of dash where you know we have these guys and also another thing is that you can change the speed so what we, i can do is i can simply do this and then I can make it smaller and then these ones can go faster and then you have this effect of something is going on there you can see like two different waves going at two different speeds so I think that's pretty cool let's say I make it white and then I add these like cool looking glow under it like that yeah oh my god this looks so cool and now I also want to add I also want to use like a lot of 2.2 features for example this like warping thingy I can add for example something in the background and give it a cool color yeah oh my god this looks so cool this looks so i don't know what the word is but this is something that it looks delicious that's all i'm gonna say and now of course we want to add some particles for sure i want to add these like bubbles basically like going up like this maybe yeah something like that probably like a lower position variant like that okay this color i don't think the white is that cool so i'm gonna have to change the color a little bit yeah something like that did you guys look at this okay maybe i feel like it should have a higher position var x y something thing like that yeah this looks so cool especially now with the soul blades would you look at that this tile is gonna be so epic and you, you might say well the block design is a little bit asinine but no this looks so cool okay i, I kind of love this this is really nice so i would say let's start by making the portals let's make custom portals and an idea i have is that you know how basically every portal has like these particles these like square particles but like i said i want the level to be circularly so what we can do is we can go here here and then do no particle and now if you play it you can see that it doesn't have a particle whatsoever and this is a very very interesting thing we can go to the game files of geometry dash and find these effects of the particle then i can open it up in a notepad or something like that and then you can see that we have all of the properties of that particle that is usually on the portal so what i want to do is i want to grab all of these things and port them in 
into this particle system. So we have like a, it's, it looks something like this where it's like sucking in, but I, I'm just going to change it to circle. And then we're going to have exact same particle looking, but they are going to be circles. So I'm just going to be doing that real quick. All right. Now I have this one, which if I put it here, you can see that it looks very realistic, especially if I give it the corresponding color, which is green. And I make it use the object color. You can see that it looks very, very nice. And now all I got to do is simply make it a circle and boom. If we play it now, it looks so good. Okay, I think the positioning is a little bit messed up. So let's do maybe something like this. Yeah. Oh my God, this looks so cool. It looks like a, it kind of looks like a different game, to be honest. It's like a custom game where you change the particles or like a texture pack. But now we can do it in 2.2, which is great. Okay, I'm just going to do it for all the portals in here. And then I'm going to see. All right, would you look at that? Now we have all the portals or the all the good game modes. And yeah, I think I'm also going to add like grass on it. Where is it? I want to have like grass behind it because I don't want it to look too empty. And look at this. I have like a small thing that I can do. I can do it like that and then I can make it like black and then it looks really sick like this. Yeah, this looks so cool. And then I can add it down there also like that. And then this one would be the normal one. So something like like this, like that. Yeah, this looks nice. All right, let, let me just I'm just going to copy and paste it everywhere. Nice. OK, these look really, really cool. Also, you, you guys can see the glow. And now I think I also need to add a 2.2 effect. This one. And you may say, well, this is a circle it doesn't really fit 2.2 exists you can do whatever you want and you can make it like a portal which looks kind of sick because you may say well this looks kind of bad but i know you guys are not saying these things i'm just i just want to find a way to you know express what i want to do so yeah there's like this missing part in here that you can't see in the editor but if i go to the game you can see that it actually exists there so i'm just gonna have to line up things and see if it's perfect and then also change the colors accordingly all right oh my god these portals look look really really cool look at this especially in here you can see like this effect of the lightning it looks bro this level looks so good oh my god i'm so excited okay this is platformer right now it's not gonna be platformer don't worry it's just for testing so i can see stuff without using the move trigger and now i would say let's also decorate these guys it should also be a very simple task and again you can see that they have these square thingy which doesn't fit at all with this like circle theme so i'm gonna have to do the exact same thing with the game files and copy the part system all right oh my god okay this took quite a while to make but we have like the particles in here and everything is working perfectly so you see how it looks way better than before we have like these circles and they, these properties of the particles are exactly the same as the ones in the game so you're not even going to be able to see like the difference so that is cool i also want to make these guys rotate i completely forgot about that all right now i have these guys rotating as well which i think they look kind of cool also hmm okay you guys it's 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 your turn again so you see these pixel thingy at the bottom there this is like a pixel lava so i can either do it like this or i can add like this pixel lava which then looks like that so you guys now have to comment down below comment two or actually three so comment three only just like a simple three in the comments if you wanted these pixels and a four if you don't want them by the way all of these comments have to be individual because i'm gonna search for the people that have typed two and then I'm gonna you know do this option and then how many people have searched for three and then if the majority has I'm gonna add the pixel art or not it, it all depends so yeah for now I'm just gonna remove them keep everything as simple as possible also I also gotta choose a cool looking font and of course we're gonna go for some of the 2.2 fonts this one doesn't look bad I want to have like a curvy font I don't want it to be too you know too edgy if you can say that I don't like this too wait is that is that from GTA or something <laughs> okay I haven't looked actually at these fonts. I don't know why, but yeah, there are a lot of like edgy stuff. I don't, I haven't found this one looks nice. I might actually use that one. You know what? I'm going to leave it to you guys. Okay. I, I don't really find anything too interesting in here. So you guys go scroll for the fonts and tell me which font I should use. Just type in the comments, use font number two or use not font number three or stuff like that. So I can search for the comments and see what people want. So yeah, now we have all of this done. And the next thing I want 
want to do is you see how these blocks these ones yeah you see how in the, in the normal mode when you play it you can see how they go like kind of invisible if you get kind of close to them and this is something that i can do in 2.2 for any object i want using the newly added geometry dash 2.2 trigger called the area fade trigger so this basically changes the opacity of certain objects depending on how close you are to these objects so this is very useful because theory of everything too uses a lot of these guys are, there's like a lot of memory in it so i'm gonna have to take a lot of inspirations from it as well and yeah i'm just gonna be adding the trigger where is it boom okay i think these values should be fine like a from 0 to 0 0.1 like that boom look at that oh my god it works so good okay i'm gonna actually have to see this in the official game so now we have you see how like the oh, i didn't make the block design but you can see how these portals basically kind of fade in with these blocks as well this is so cool this is perfect i'm gonna use this a lot for like these memory parts because it wouldn't make that much sense if only these guys fade away so yeah this is something that i really wanted to do for theory of everything too in 2.2 because this thing we finally have it we can customize a lot of stuff in it so yeah i'm just gonna keep this trigger in here and also make a touch trigger to remind me that this is something that i added okay now we have almost everything we are almost finished now and what i want to do now is i'm probably gonna have to add like spikes i'm gonna have to customize the spikes because there are gonna be spikes in this level if you guys didn't know yo okay this looks this actually looks sick you guys look at this okay if, if i put it like that this is like a spike that's going to be like on the air like that and you can see that there's this thing in here and if you are going fast you are only going to see one pattern and the cool thing is i can just copy and paste it and it's always random like this pattern is always random and it's going to change uh during the gameplay so that's perfect and i can use these very flawlessly and yeah this is something that is definitely recyclable recyclable or something i don't know you guys know you guys know what i'm saying okay now now we have the lava now we have the blocks we have we have almost everything so what else do we need let's actually start making the gameplay now let's just start by making it a classic mode and listen to the beautiful song and start making this okay first of all i'm just going to be using the very simple blocks i'm just going to be using probably these ones these ones just to make the gameplay i also want to take a lot of inspirations from theory of everything like the official version so i'm just going to be making it from memory so that it's not really that similar okay so i made like a little bit i i forgot to make a little bit of commentary as well but here you can see And now we can see that the song is going to go like this, like this feels like another like distortion or something like that. And that's going to be an orb that's going to bring you reverse. You're going to go backwards and from there on, we're going to have to see what we're going to do. OK, so this is the part where you go backwards with these teleportation orbs. And in here we have the pre drop. Boom, 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 boom. OK, this is awesome so far. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that these spikes don't exist here and so on. OK, I, th I think this part is really cool. So so look at this so this is the swing copter part it's very normal you know and the music sync is very cool especially with the wave and this part is so cool you gotta like click this green orb and then you go into like a circle type of thing and yeah this is looking very very good so far i'm probably gonna decorate a lot of this and then we can uh, we can see what to do so yeah let me just finish this part because it's quite hard working with the arrow trigger all right so i think i'm gonna start decorating a little bit and as you can see i added these cool uh, shaders that they basically show you that there's something going on with the game that basically is responsible for this like effect that appears on the whole screen i think this is very nice all right and the way we want to decorate this is i want to basically do it like that and then you gotta do like one extra block down there so that it looks like this this way the ground is like basically connected i can then uh, like remove this because we don't need this we're not going to be able to see it and now we have a functional one and let's see if this one is going to work i really hope it is going to and it kind of did what the heck is that this is the 3d that is also visible from there we don't want that yeah like that this looks a lot cooler now so now we can get rid of all this and replace it with that nice so now like i said i want to remove these guys because for optimizations and stuff of course this is not going to be visible in the game so and now if you enable the ground you're gonna see that this looks pretty cool this looks very nice i know the background is a little bit too light i'm gonna have to fix 
fix that. And also I want to add the lava in here. The lava in here is going to look really cool. Yeah, something like this. Like, something like this looks very cool. Okay. Also, another thing that I want to do is wait, wait. First of all, the particle is a little bit messed up. So we want to do it like that. Yeah, that looks nice. And then you might see, well, this looks a little bit messed up. So what we can do is use this guy again in order to basically fix this. And I think if we do something like this, it would look nice. And then we can, of course, put it way back in the background. And boom, this looks nice. Okay, now we have this lava in here, which looks really, really cool. And yeah, let, let, I also want to replace the orbs. The orbs are so important to be replaced because these ones look like absolutely terrible. So one in here and one in here like that. Nice. Okay, let's disable that. And we also need a lot of green orbs. This is a lot easier now to work with. Now that I have like every single template, like all of the presets, you can call them. Because now I can pretty much just copy and paste, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now I added this ground and now it's time, I think, to basically add these ones. I want to decorate this now. So maybe something like this. And I also want to add like a little bit more stuff like that so I can add like spikes on it and stuff. So like this and then we go here and then create. And then this looks really messy as of right now, but it should be cool in a bit. Okay, and also the soul blades. I'm just going to add the rotate triggers back there and then we can just yoink, copy and paste. And oh my God, this already looks really, really nice. So yeah, we, we, we have like zero air deco right now and it already looks really cool. So let me just grab this guy and place it in here. And now, yeah, I would say let's, let's also do this one. And now we can simply create and then we go to the layer and boom, nice. And now again, we just repeat the tasks over and over again. And then you're going to have a very cool looking thing. What the heck is going on up here? Also, there is a very cool thing that Robtop does in his levels. And it's that he adds like this glow in the background. And we can achieve that with a gradient trigger. And the way we want to do it is by having something like this. And then you like lower the opacity on it. Do something like this. And then you can see that it's not that very cool, especially if you play it. Wait, what the heck? So what you want to do is you want to basically copy you're gonna add an object firstly and then you want to make it group 10 and then copy and paste it and put it somewhere like in here and then make it group 11 and now you memorize down was 10 up was 11 and then you have this beautiful looking thing and you can like customize how high you want it to be and also you can like change it mid level but for now i'm just gonna keep it like that and now you can like play around with the values and then you can have it like that however what's even more interesting is that you can yoink it yoink everything once again and then build helper and now you want to make it like that and now you want to make it really bright like this all right i also added these crystals which look very cool and also want to like just add them randomly throughout the level because i think they would fit this theme a lot for example i can have like a crystal in here this looks very nice and another one maybe in here and just basically randomly pick them and add them like that I think that would be very cool this this is bad news. I'm not very happy about it. Why you do this to me? The game just crashed. Okay, I I don't know if I saved. I don't know what happened. I'm just gonna we're gonna just gonna have to see. All right, nice. This looks very cool. And one thing I wanna do is I wanna go to I wanna go to theory of everything and I wanna take a look at a bunch of things that it does in here. So for example, it uses these guys. So I'm just gonna have to you know copy and then use a little bit of vibrant mode. Mm. Okay, I think this is looking a lot better now okay so this just to make the level look actually like theory of everything too i want to like add these cool looking things from theory of everything too ah i see it uses like these default blocks from the, from the other channel i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna make it something like this maybe yeah something like that this looks really cool you know why this looks cool because you can see how the color kind of changes in here into like orange and the farther up it goes it kind of like gets darker and stuff like that i really like this i really like this. i'm gonna add even more in here perhaps what if i yeah this is a good idea what if i do something like yeah oh my god that's like a glow up this li this literally looks like theory of everything too right now especially with the song <laughs> but yeah I, I think i'm almost done for today i really gotta go in a bit so i'm just gonna add like some small tweaks here and there and then we're gonna do the showcase okay also i have one more thing to say but let me just let me just do the last bits okay the last thing i added like a bunch of things in here like these ones for example and now i'm gonna add like a little bit of raining like actually i'm gonna make it snow i think snowing would be a lot better and if you make this like minus 90 and 
it's gonna be like from the cloud basically i think that would be very cool make them like very few not too many so that the people that have bad devices don't lag so maybe something like this yeah something like this gives this level a lot of atmosphere however i might actually make it a little tiny bit slower like that so i want this level to be very calm at the beginning so that you know it feels really good and now i'm just gonna copy and paste it here and there and you know make it look very cool all right i think now we're gonna move on to the showcase one last thing i want to say is that this level is you get you guys can tell i, I guess it's very unfinished but i think the gameplay is excellent i really love the gameplay and i want to i really want to take care of this level i want it to be really really good which is why i think i'm gonna have to make multiple parts because making this whole level in one single video would be probably like a two hour video and that would be a problem because i also want you guys to participate with making this level for example you guys remember where you can comment and then i would do whatever the majority says so this way we basically build the level together and if you guys see any choke point anything bad that i did just drop it down in the comments and i will read your comment and i'm gonna fix it in the next video so yeah this is the first part basically of making theory of everything too and it's looking very very good so far i love this part this is basically like the style you can say that i'm gonna go for and it's gonna go very very crazy in here in the drop so yeah uh, i would say let's just preview it yeah let's just give it a, a nice little preview make sure this is on quick start and boom All right, and that is this part. That is like the first part that I made. And yeah, this is very unfinished. There are a lot of camera workings that I need to finish. And yeah, you can see the style in here. This is the style I'm gonna go for. So yeah, part two is gonna be coming soon. I'm gonna put a lot of love into this level. And like I said, you guys comment what you want and let me know what you think about this level and which parts you like the most and what type of game mechanic you would like to see more of. And yeah, I'm not gonna upload it yet. Uh, let me just name it theory of everything to yeah i don't know what the name is gonna be i honestly have no idea what i'm gonna name this so you guys suggest in the comment section this level is pretty much made by you guys and also me so yeah that is it for this video thanks to everyone on the screen for supporting me as a membership of this channel and i love you guys thank you so much for the support lately and yeah i'm gonna probably be continuing making this level on stream on twitch so make sure to follow me there and yeah that's it for this video slap that like button and also subscribe right now gamers and i love you guys and i will see you in the next video